This is your daily scripture for October 4th. My name is Henry Loquet, and this is God's Feeding Station. It is a pleasure to be with you again today as we finish up the letters of John. Uh, we will read John, uh, third John, the third letter of John today in its entirety. Again, uh, written toward the end of John's life, uh, talking about the steadfastness of faith in the face of opposition. And we all know what that's like. Uh, if we don't, we will know soon because it's coming. And so uh, good advice today from John 3, 3rd John, not John 3, 3rd John. The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. For I rejoiced greatly when the brothers came and testified to your truth as indeed you are walking in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. Beloved, it is a faithful thing you do in all your efforts for these brothers, strangers as they are, who testified to your love before the church. You will do well to send them on their journey in a manner worthy of God. For they have gone out for the sake of the name, accepting nothing from the Gentiles. Therefore, we ought to support people like these, that we may be fellow workers for the truth. I have written something to the church, but Diotrephes, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. So if I come, I will bring up what he is doing, talking wicked nonsense against us. And not content with that, he refuses to welcome the brothers and also stops those who want to and puts them out of the church. Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. Demetrius has received a good testimony from everyone and from the truth itself. We also add our testimony, and you know that our testimony is true. I had much to write to you, but I would rather not write with pen and ink. I hope to see you soon, and we will talk face to face. Peace be to you. The friends greet you. Greet the friends, each by name. So doing a little digging and looking at the situation here that John is addressing with Diotrephes, you had these three people. You had John, which at this point in his life and in the years that have gone by, he represents the the apostolic ministry. Right? He comes from the apostles, the, the followers of Jesus, represents that, that group. Demetrius, who is briefly mentioned today, uh, was a missionary, and he was what was called then wandering prophets and preachers. They would go town to town, much like Paul did, establish churches, preach the word. Uh, Diotrephes was a person who represented basically a, a church, a ministry that had taken root in a specific town, had local elders, and they ran their church as they saw fit. And they did not necessarily welcome the wandering ministries and the prophets uh, that would come through town from time to time. Gaius is caught in the middle. Gaius, who, whom John addresses, is seems like He's very well-meaning, but he's caught in between these three people. And, sh- and so um, John addresses this now and basically says that Diotrephes is a guy who is all about himself. And in the early days, this wasn't an issue. Right, the the local congregations were were pretty new to the faith, and as Paul talked about, they were fed milk. Right, they were used to taking advice from the apostles and and from from guys like Paul who had established themselves and and proven themselves to be deliverers of the word, deliverers of the word. But as these local churches become stronger they became less willing to take advice from outsiders. And you see that today with churches. And so Diotrephes is the representative of this local congregation. And not only does he not 
like the the prophets and and the wandering uh, ministers of uh, you know people like Demetrius who who come through town every once in a while. Um, he doesn't really have any use for John now either. And he doesn't want anything to do with the missionaries, doesn't want anything to do with John, just wants to be left alone to run his church. And he's even going so far to remove or, 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 or drive out those who still accept the authority of John and those who accept the preachers who wander in from time to time. Uh, what he is, who he is, exactly we don't know. Um, but he's very strong-minded, very strong-willed, and he's seems to be doing things by force. And John warns of of people like this now. Okay, again, go back to his second letter. It's all about love, right? Um, and it's about truth. He's obviously, uh, John says that he's spreading wicked nonsense, as he calls it today. Refuses to welcome the brothers, stops, stops those who want to. And so John says, you can't do that. That's evil. There's no love in that. And he says, you can't do that. You have to do what is good because it's the basics. Those who do good are from God. Those who do evil are not from God. And then he speaks well of Demetrius. And so for us, I think the lesson is we just have to be careful. Sometimes people will come in with new ideas, different ways of doing things, and we get, we get turned off because we're set in our ways. But if they are sent from God, they will speak the truth. The things that they say will match up biblically, and you'll know in the spirit. You'll have discernment that these people are truly sent from God and they're to be welcomed. And even if they're off a little bit, again, we react in love, right? Not, we don't accept false teaching, but we react in love and deal with things as we are guided by God and his will. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, have a great weekend. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all the things that we have to offer here. Wherever you're listening on the podcast, whether it's Spotify or Google or Apple, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to download the app. Most importantly, download the app and not most importantly, second important, download the app. Most importantly, keep praying. Uh, we cover your prayers more than anything. All right. Have a great weekend. We'll talk on Monday. Take care. Lord willing. Bye-bye.